This is Becky Young from Grossman Young and Hammond. Today is Monday, April 6th. Today, I would like to give you a short update about an FAQ that uh, USCIS just released relating to remote I-9 completion requirements. So DHS released an update and we prepared a video on March 20th about circumstances, COVID-19 related circumstances under which um, DHS will allow employers to inspect I-9 documents remotely. And the first um, part of this FAQ that was released today, which is available on I-9 Central, by the way, if you go on to USCIS's website and I-9 Central, you can find the, the FAQ. The first part just sort of reiterates what was in that previous uh, March 20th update. Um, the there are a few helpful new tidbits in the FAQ. The first one relates to uh, state driver's licenses. So as you probably know, many states have automatically extended their driver's license and ID documents. And uh, USCIS has confirmed that those automatically extended documents are a legitimate list B document. And if you use them, that you should indicate COVID-19 extension uh, uh, on the I-9 itself. And they do also suggest including a printout from the state DMV website uh, indicating that the, the document is automatically extended. There was another related question. If an employee presents a receipt from an agency that's now closed due to COVID-19, how should the employer proceed after 90 days if the document has not been received? They don't have a good answer to that. They basically said, this is an ongoing issue. We're looking into it. In the meantime, they should call that agency and try to get service by telephone. Uh, the other question that they sort of clarified uh, in, the, in the initial announcement, there, it, there was some lack of clarity regarding whether all of the employees at a workplace had to be remote. Uh, what they seem to be suggesting in this new FAQ, although it's also not clear, is that this policy regarding remote inspection applies to all remote employees, but um, that if there are employees who are not working remotely or don't work remotely all the time, uh, that DHS will evaluate on a case-by-case -case basis. So not a whole lot of new information, but some useful tidbits uh, specifically relating to DMV extensions and also um, documents that uh, had you know where there was a 90 day period due to uh, an extension and a receipt. So check out that I9 FAQ uh, on I9 Central.